something nasty. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Perixby here, and today welcome to another episode of Advanced Class Making. And if you don't know what this is, this is a series I started when Advanced Warfare came out, where I basically play test different setups for hours and like pl play around with t different guns and attachments and see what works best for me and like see what I could do well with for a certain amount of time so so do you see here today's gun is the KF5 and th this class I like to call the um in your face class because you are in people's faces for whenever you use it so um yeah pause it if you want to take a look at it but I'm just going to explain it now so I'm just going to explain the why why I, I use the gun attachments perks and score shakes so yeah so the in your face class it's basically the, the KF5 because I I don't know if the KF5 got buffed in the most recent patch, but it, it seems to be a lot better. I don't know, but SMGs are just so much more usable, so that's why I'm having fun with Advanced World Warfare again. So and anyway, why do I call it the in your face class setup? Well, because you are in, in people's faces half the time because you're either like in SMG or shotgun range whenever you want to kill people so and then also so as for attachments I use I use stock quick draw and suppressor and and I use stock because even though it's a submachine gun I still like to be able to stay fast so that, so that helps me like always have my gun up and then quick draw so I can a ADS that few milliseconds faster that's always beneficial especially for a for a rushy type class type class which this is and then finally silencer so I can stay up the the, the radar but still be agile and like quick and what's nice about this class is I move at 100% speed so like I just move so much faster than most people because not mo not a lot of people use SMGs but anyway so as for the perks I use low profile peripherals bless suppressor and scavenger now I use low profile to stay off the radar since I use a silencer so I'm like why not even be more stealthy I use per peripherals because number one you don't show death icons when you kill people and with with a silencer that really helps so you're not on the map at all unless they have paraglider on the phone and also your mini map is 40% bigger so that's so that helps you see enemies on the map for, who may not be close to you and then finally blast suppressor and scavenger I use blast suppressor um, so I'm not on the radar whenever I use my exo ability which I use it like once every 5 to 10 seconds because for a Russian class you're jumping all over the place and then scavenger just that I always have ammo and never have to pick up guns because I hate picking up people's guns I used to run toughness but toughness isn't really needed in this game and especially for this for this class setup because you're so close to people and like I always I almost all the time see people first so as long as you get the first shot on then you're most likely gonna win that gunfight and then finally for score streaks I use UAV bombing run and warbird now I use UAV simple enough because it's one of the best score streaks in the game because not a lot of the higher end score streaks are good and I use speed and extra points for the assist a and I use speed because I like to have a constant not notification of 
where the enemies are at. And then I use extra assist points so I get even more points for my teammates' kills. So yeah, that's a total of 500. And then we got Bombing Run, Bombing Run coming in at 750. And now I like Bombing Run because if you can use it effectively, y y you can get at least the three kills with it, which I do most of the time. I get at least two kills, two to four kills. Four is the most I've got. So yeah, that can be really, really effective. And then finally, Warbird. And then, uh, so I use Warbird with extra time and the AIO and the AI controlled module because number one, extra time, so it's in the air for like 45 seconds. And then n module two, AI controlled, so that, so that I could still be on the ground and slay and even though it does cost 1100 since this class is beast and, and it's a killing machine I can mostly most of the time get it and if you play objective game modes it's like a 7 or 8 kill sheet but if you play TDM it's like a 9 or 10 so that's that and most of the time if you have it AI, AI controlled I find it better AI controlled than when you manually control it because when the AI controller like they lock onto the players so it kills them in like less bolts so so far I've got it a few times with the AI controlled and I, I think got like seven kills versus when I use it it gets like three four kills at most so definitely put at least AI controlled on there even if you can't get um, 1100 score but yeah guys so this is the in your face class for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare SMGs as I pick up a cheeky little four piece right there I thought that was pretty awesome because SMGs still don't do a lot of damage but they've been greatly improved thanks to the most recent patch and also, I'm gonna prestige, seeing I'm currently low 44, so that's also pretty cool. So yeah, 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 guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you're gonna ch try try this out, and tell me your best score with this, your your best score with this class setup. Yeah, so I encourage you guys to ch try this out. Um, like, like and subscribe if you're new and join the XP squad and get my daily content as I do post every day so stay tuned for that and if you want to check out my recent videos there will be links down below so check out my two latest videos and yeah so that's basically it guys the in your face class in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare so like I said, if you enjoyed, like, like and subscribe for more, and join the XP squad. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.